Well, from our 60 national costumes, 20 now move forward. And our first qualifier is... Colombia. Colombia's costume embodies the sacred shaman from the legend of El Dorado. The attire invokes the power of wisdom and deep connection of the shaman with the earth. The imposing feathers that adorn the headdress represents the spiritual bond with birds, messengers from the spirit world. By wearing it, I carry the strength of my ancestors, says Mr. Columbia, reflecting the soul of Columbia to the world. Buenas noches, Vietnam! My name is Juan Esteban Rodriguez, and I'm here with 18 years old expressing my soul to you. I want to tell you that I'm, my future project is to become a civil engineer in order to teach the young generations to be able to follow their dreams with courage and with passion. I want to teach you them that being different in a modern society means to have respect and values to the older people and to all people and to all the things that surround us. I want to teach you them that with courage, with empathy, with freedom, everything is going to be possible. From the heart, I represent the most beautiful country of Latin America, the country that smells as Colombian coffee, Colombia! He's joined by Jamaica. Jamaica's rich culture with lush countryside and beautiful coastal sunsets inspired this outfit. The gold headgear represents the warm embrace of the Jamaican golden sun, representing a deep connection to nature. The necklace is worn over the shoulders and waist with jingling chains and a spectrum of soft colors from deep corals of vibrant orange. This is reminiscent of the sunset at the end of the horizon. Well, go on Vietnam. I am Tariq Barrett, a marketing and accounting student with the passion to mitigate poverty through financial literacy. And I represent the island of resilience, the fastest man in the world, the home of reggae music, Jamaica. Congratulations to our next contestant, Mexico. Mexico's costume is designed by Alberto Ramirez, and the costume represents the god of abundance. Its stylized traditional costume of Durango, a city located in the north central region of Mexico. This costume symbolizes the wealthy economy of Durango, known for minerals such as silver and gold, and abundant wildlife, especially the wild birds of the Sierra region. Muy buenas noches a todos. What an amazing night. I hope you are enjoying. I'm Alan Salazar, and I'm proudly an honor to represent Mexico. Nicaragua's costume is titled Guardian of Our Wealth in a suit that's inspired by gold, one of the natural resources mined from the nation's crust. This metal was discovered in prehistoric times and remains one of Nicaragua's main export resources. Moreover, it documents one of the oldest activities of a Nicaraguan man mining for gold, a precious metal which is used to make high-value jewelry. Hola, Vietnam. 
My name is Erling Ayerdis. I'm a model and marketing advisor, and I'm representing Nicaragua. Our next qualifier has been dancing all night. It's Puerto Rico. Puerto Rico's costume is inspired by Verge Hante, one of the prominent figures in Puerto Rican festivals, especially in the Loetza and Ponce festivals that are rooted in African traditions. This colorful masked character may seem scary, but it also represents joy, struggle, and defending the motherland. This costume serves as a reminder to conserve these resources, just as Verge Hante did. My name is Danny Mejia. I'm a singer and loan originator, and I come from the island of enchantment of Puerto Rico. And the final qualifier from Americas and Caribbean, that honor goes to Venezuela. The final contestant from the Americas is Venezuela in the national costume that highlights the exploits of all those young people who more than 200 years ago dreamed, fought and died so that Venezuela might exist. This suit is a symbol of the love and dedication of those who are willing to make their sacrifice for the freedom of the people. Vietnam. My name is Juan Alberto Garcia, and I'm representing Venezuela! Now we turn to Europe, and our first qualifier is... Czech Republic. Czech Republic now in a traditional folklore costume from the town of Kia, which is in Hodenin district in South Monravia region of the Czech Republic. This costume has always been associated with the customs, traditions and folk art and is an integral part of the people of Kia. However, today it is now reserved only to be worn on special occasions such as for tonight's show. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Thomas, and I work as a director for an international media agency. And tonight, I'm representing Czech Republic! And next up... Ireland. Mr. World Ireland has been inspired by Ku Cullen, an Irish warrior and demigod who is the incarnation of Lu, the Irish god. The image of Ku Cullen is often referred to by Irish nationalists. This outfit, designed by Brendan Mark Scully, highlights the strength and fitness of Mr. World Ireland. My name is Glenn Williamson. I am a professional model, salesperson, and life coach. And I am passionate about helping the younger generation with their mental health and confidence. I proudly represent the strong Emerald Isle, the green country, Ireland. Celebrate for our next contestant, Italy. Our next contestant is Mr. World Italy. The Venice Carnival is a festival that symbolizes freedom of speech, where people celebrate together in the streets without discrimination or judgment. 
This served as the inspiration for his costume, which is hand embroidered with intricate cuts in white and gold. The outfit excludes elegance and artistry. Xin Chao, Vietnam. I'm Bruno Barbieri, an environmental engineer, nutritionist, and actor. And I'm proudly representing the land of pizza and pasta. And of course, the land of beautiful people that will welcome you like family. Italia! Keeping the European flag flying is Netherlands. Welcome, Mr. World Netherlands who is representing a traditional farmer in this national costume competition. He's donning a ceramic costume in the typical Dutch colors of blue and white, known as Delft Blue. Delft Blue ceramics originate from Delft, a small town located in the west of the Netherlands and famous since the 17th century. It started as a luxury ceramic for the wealthy, but it became a national symbol and a top Dutch export. Vietnam. I'm Ahmed, working as a model, I'm still a student, and I proudly can say representing the beauty of the Netherlands. And the final qualifier from Europe is Poland. This is Mr. Walt Poland, and he's in an outfit inspired by Vesele in their Fantasy and Fear collection, which recreates the image of the group from a popular Vispiansky TV series. Each character is someone's notion, a fantasy or a fear. The design carries motifs from the Krakow and Lublin regions using environmentally friendly used old fabric materials. Dobry wieczór Vietnam. I'm Hubert Gromadzki. I'm model and influencer. Now I represent Poland. Moving now to the spirit of Africa and the first qualifier. Angola! In this continent with Angola, who is wearing a costume that represents primitive man whose main livelihood was hunting. The arrow symbolizes the fundamental instrument that allowed him to hunt. The crown represents the protection, prosperity and abundance. And the painting on the chest represents his maturity as a young man to ready the hunt. Face paintings symbolize purity and the beauty of the race and the paint on the arms represents strength and the power to be a hunter. Boa noite, Vietnam. Meu nome é Salvador Crisbal. Sou de África, estou a representar Angola. Congratulations, Kenya! Mr. World Kenya in a costume symbolizing national spirit now, honoring the Kenyan flag. Green symbolizes vast and beautiful land from green forests to majestic beaches. Black expresses the extraordinary and resilient nature of the country's 45 unique tribes. Red honors the heroes who fell to defend their homeland White represents the peace of Kenya. The shield and spear symbolize the phrase, may justice always protect us. Jumbo Vietnam, I'm Teddy Rosita, stepping forward as the heartbeat of 46 million bold and beautiful Kenyans all over. I am a model, a student, and an ambassador of our rich and beautiful culture. I carry with me the strength 
of the Maasai warrior, the rhythm of our beautiful songs, and the beauty of magical Kenya. Today, I represent the pride of Africa. Thank you. The judges have also put through Sierra Leone. Mr. World Sierra Leone, welcome to Vietnam in an outfit that symbolizes resilience, leadership and courage and strength of Sierra Leone men. It represents the coat of arms of beautiful scenery and culture and the people of Sierra Leone. and Sin Chiang, Vietnam! My name is Alaji Asamansai, and I work as an administrative officer who advocates for dyslexia, working tirelessly in making sure we create a safe and a noble environment for every dyslexic kids all around the world. Tonight, I am standing here proudly representing the Lion Mountain, Sierra Leone! Qualifying is South Africa. Mr. World, South Africa, in a costume that pays homage to the first animal skin costumes in South Africa. The accompanying accessories are not only items, they represent the culture of the country and serve as a visual representation of cultural diversity, unity and pride, and especially spirituality. My name is Samuel. I am an occupational therapist representing South Africa. And the final contestant from Africa, South Sudan. South Sudan in a costume titled Spirit of South Sudan, embodying the unity, strength and diverse heritage of his nation. Seashells and beads in the colours of the South Sudan flag, red, green, blue and black, craft this costume, symbolising resilience and national pride. Salam alaikum dunia. Badino, ekadi, malamugwa. My name is Amaj Mathia. I am registered nurse, a model, a choreographer, and an activist of a child right. Standing here, I represent the giant of the Nile River, South Sudan.
moving to Asia and Oceania. The first qualifier, Indonesia. This is Mr. World Indonesia, who's inspired by the Javanese royal dynasty, Wayang traditional puppet theater, and the exquisite charm of the Javanese aristocracy. This costume embodies strength, wisdom, and radiance, representing the enlightened and dominant force of the Javanese rulers. My name is Nathan Yoga, a 21-year-old student and pianist, and I'm proudly to represent Indonesia! He's joined by the Philippines. Mr. World Philippines now in a national costume named Warrior, which is a tribute to the rich heritage of the mountainous province of Igorot. The diversity and complexity in the scenes of this outfit showcase the creativity of the local women. The outer armor creates the image of a water buffalo ready to hunt with courage and determination to protect the ancestors. The image of a rice god decorates the headdress honoring the agricultural livelihood of the Filipino people. Mabuhay, Vietnam. And to everybody who is watching right now. Kirk Bonnard is my name. As a fitness coach, brand endorser, and content creator, I help people to be better than yesterday. But today, I'm representing the might and the proud of the Republic of the Philippines! Next up, Sri Lanka. And so to Mr. World Sri Lanka and an outfit that celebrates Akanda Lahinya, also known as Warana, an awe-inspiring mythical creature from ancient Sinhalese, depicted as a formidable raptor with an elephant's head, which can hunt elephants and soar high like a cloud. As for this national costume of Sri Lanka, the unique blend of strength and mysticism with the story of Afkanda Lehinia showcases the island's rich cultural heritage and mythological traditions, offering a striking and iconic portrait of power, grandeur and history. How are you doing, Vietnam? I'm Megu Surya a movie actor, feature film director and a lecturer. And I'm, high, I'm honored to represent the most desirable island in the world, Sri Lanka. Just one place left, and that honor goes to the home country of Vietnam. And so to our final country, the home country, Vietnam. A history spanning over 400 years, Tat Hoang Hoa Cup, a stone handicraft village in Hoa Lo District, Ninh Binh Province, remains an integral part of Vietnamese history showcasing stone sculptures of exceptional artistic value. In 2019, the profession received recognition as a national intangible cultural heritage. The profession validates the artistic excellence and capacity to infuse life into the work of Vietnamese artisans and highlights the advanced Vietnamese culture that is deeply rooted in its national identity.
Hello, world. My name is Phạm Tuấn Ngọc. I'm a model, actor, and I'm pursuing a master degree in the business administration. And I proudly represent Vietnam! Oh. You're 20. Mr. World National Costume. They move forward now to the next round, but please put your hands together for the other 40 contestants who came onto this stage and did so well to represent their country. Thank you, gentlemen. Let's hear it again for the top 20 national costumes. Ladies and gentlemen, let's take a look at our top 20 national costume and visit mrworld.onevoting.com to support your country in the National Costume People's Choice Award. Ranking from 12 p.m. on 21st November to 7 p.m. on 23rd November Vietnam time. Which country will win the title? National Costume People's Choice Award. Stay tuned. Well, it's been lots of fun here tonight. From us here at Nova World Infanty at Vietnam, we look forward to seeing you again for the final show on the 23rd of November for Mr. World 2024. Thank you. And, and good, good night. night.